Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can grade the projects, assignments, quizzes, anything like that inside of Canvas, and how you can also monitor the student's progress on a quiz. So let's go ahead and start with our quiz, the Getting to Know You survey. And what you can do is in the top right corner here, you're gonna see moderate this survey, and you're gonna see speed grader. Speed grader is going to be on every type of assignment or quiz or discussion, and this is how you can grade those different content pieces. So this is the course that I made for my class last year, and I'm just gonna show you really quick how I can go in and grade one of the projects they submitted. So one of those projects was a script, so I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And then you can see that this was how I gave the information of what I'd like the students to do for this assignment. I linked some uh, PowerPoints that I made about it. I gave them an example script here. I walked them through how to submit it through their Office 365. And then I gave them some reference uh, images that would help them with their script. So I was able to do all of that inside of the assignment. It's not very pretty, but it gave the students everything they needed to know about it. So let's go ahead and press speed grader and this will allow me to see all of the student submissions. So this is what speed grader looks like. It will have the student submission here and then it will allow me to enter a score here. If the students have submitted this project multiple times, it'll show me the times that they've submitted it at the top here and I can download those individual files that they've submitted from here. I can also leave comments, so if the student wants to address something on their assignment or they have a question, they can leave me a comment and then I can go back and answer it. Now with this, I was also able to leave comments on the actual script through the buttons up here on the screen. So I could leave a comment, I can highlight something, I can give them just like a little bit of advice or text on the side of the screen if I needed to. If I wanted to proofread one of their sentences and didn't want them to have a specific sentence in there, I can cross things out. Um, and I can do some other stuff with like shapes and uh, draw different things as well too. So that's just some really cool functions inside of this speed grader. I can also go through and go to each student that's enrolled in this course and I won't have to get out and go back to grades or anything like that. I will just be able to do that in here. So it's really helpful. I can see when the student submitted it. And if the student submitted this assignment late, it'll say late next to it. And not only I can see that, but the students will see that as well. So this is what SpeedGrader looks like. This is a really great tool for any of your projects if you have them inside of Canvas. Now I'm gonna show you how you can monitor the progress of a student if they're in, for example, a quiz. Okay, so let's go to this quiz here, or in our case, a survey. I can go up to moderate this survey, and what it'll do, once again, since I don't have students, what it'll do is it'll tell me the student's name, it'll tell me how many attempts the students have tried, how long they've spent on this quiz or survey, and then how many attempts they have left, and if they finish, it'll give me the score. So this is a really great way of monitoring how long the students have um, been doing a quiz for or how long they've been on, on Canvas for this amount of time. This is very helpful with that. Um, the other thing I can do inside of Canvas to see how long the students actually have been on Canvas is gonna be under People. And it'll show me the last time the student has logged in and it'll tell me exactly the total amount of time they've spent in Canvas since they've been enrolled in the course. So sometimes it'll say like 24 hours, sometimes it'll say like 100 and something hours, and that all depends on when the student logged in, and every time they log in, this clock is ticking. So that's a great way to, to, to show that to, to parents if they, you know, if they're saying their student has been on there all day, you have the proof or the, the evidence to support how long they actually have been doing your class. All right, and I mentioned in, the previous video about groups. I can create groups inside of people here. So if I press groups, I can create a group set. And by those group sets, I can then assign these groups specific assignments if I like, or I can give them specific discussions, that kind of stuff. So that's how I can do 
that. That's how I can grade, how I can monitor students' progress, and how I can do groups in this Canvas course. So the next video, I'm gonna get into a little bit more advanced territory. I'm gonna show you how I can basically copy my content from one of my classes and paste it into another course. So if that's something you're interested in doing, let's go ahead and continue on.